you know, what have you made of uh, Robert Koeman since he's uh, come into the Premier League? You know, how do you think he's started his life in England? It's obviously easy for him, isn't it? <laughs> the way the results have gone. Um, I, I like the way he goes about his business. He's just nice and quiet. I'm sure uh, the players respect him uh, for having played like he has, and uh, he, he doesn't make a song and dance, gets on about his business, um, doesn't get carried away when they win, and doesn't get carried away when they lose. And I, I think he's done a fabulous job for them. And the club itself, you know, the, the, the blows that they had in the summer. You know, I think that uh, it just shows you that it's amazing what a good group of players can do. Are they a club which you know, maybe Palace could, could follow in terms of the way they bring through young talent and, and the way they've sustained themselves in the Premier League since coming up? The yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're years in front of us at the moment in the way that we've got a great academy, but they planned, even with Rupert Lower there, uh, I have to say he got some criticism, but Rupert used to spend, you know, six figure sums on young players from other clubs and when you look at the signings that he made and the players that have come through a lot goes back to those days you know changing the chip the training ground into a super complex as well and and we're at Palace are trying to we're trying to get there you know we're we're really trying to get a new training ground as soon as possible which is not far away um, and the academy is going well so if we could put all that into you know and, and the next step is staying in the Premier League and using the money to to fund the youth development and all that. So yeah, it, it would, that is a, a good example on where Palace want to be really.